Question two from review exercise one. Now this also relates to indices. In question 2a, we are asked to find the value of 125 to the power of 4 thirds. Another way of saying find the value of is evaluate, so look out for that in the exams. Now this uses the rule I mentioned before, and I'll be a bit more explicit because it just uses this one rule. What I can do is I can have this written as 125 to the power of 4 times by 1 third. If I then apply this rule, a times b, 4 times 1 third, and I can put either the 4 or the third inside the brackets, and the other one goes outside. Now I've chosen to put the third inside because I know that cube rooting first will give me a smaller number and it's easier to make it smaller first before then making it larger again with the index outside the brackets. The cube root of 125 is 5 and that to the power of 4 is 625. So there we've got four-thirds as a power of 125 gives us 625. That's part A complete. Now let's put look at part B. In part B, we're asked to simplify 24 x squared divided by 18 x to the power of four-thirds. Now, at this point, we need to deal with coefficients and with indices. Coefficients are normal numbers, so we simply divide them in the normal way. 24 divided by 18. I've shown that in the fractional form of division. The next thing to do is to deal with the indices on x. Indices are cracked. To divide, you must subtract. So, 2 minus 4 thirds. This, however, is not in the simplest form, and the question asks us to simplify, so I'm going to fully simplify. 24 divided by 18. Well, that's written in the fractional form, and since both 24 and 18 are multiples of 6, I can divide both top and bottom by 6 to get 4 over 3. Simplifying the index up here is simply a matter of evaluating that subtraction. 2 minus 6, sorry, 2 minus 4 over 3 is the same as 6 thirds minus 4 thirds, which would give me a total of 2 thirds remaining. And there we have the answer to question 2, part B.